Good morning. So where we left off, this thing was completely plugged and now it's not. The truck drivers, the last two that were here with us were so nice and helped us fix and replace a chain. The chain was completely broken and thank goodness we had a couple in the shops. Those guys were so nice to get us fixed, fixed up like that. We did end up loading their two trucks and we did end up finishing this circle. And now we're gonna work on this one today. Before the sun came up, I went out into the cornfield and filmed a cold plunge video. I'm so excited to actually get that little mobile cold plunge filled with water. I've never had one before. So yeah, today marks the last day of harvest. Hoping everything goes smooth. Let's get to it. Last day of harvest 2024. How do you feel? Fueling up for the last day. We we're making plans. We said two days left and that's that's why it happened. I know. The pain broke. We're like 20 acres to go. <laughs> oh, Blake it's was, 20 acres. Okay. Blake was like on this circle. Blake was like, uh, man, we're going to have this circle done. Be all ready to start that other one. And I said, I hope. And then he's like, we'll be done tomorrow by like four o'clock. Then he left early because he had to go start a pivot. And literally he was driving by on the highway and that chain broke. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just want today to go smooth. Yeah. We'll be done. <laughs> Everything is, was going smooth. Um, we're on the second half of the last circle. And I was cleaning my tractor out, waiting for Blake to get full. And now they're standing at the back of the combine and I am totally freaked out. I'm not gonna lie. We have like a couple trucks waiting for us. Thank goodness nothing was wrong with the combine. He was just getting out, stretching his legs and he said he felt a slight vibration, which no big deal. We are right next to our house. Kind of weird being in our backyard and we're just about done with corn harvest and we're finishing out with a bang. We're ready to be done. As I'm sure Jordan's already form informed you, with any luck, today will be the final day of corn harvest. What we would call the backyard circle because that's what it is. It's literally in our backyard. This is the final circle of 2024. Let's just pray things go okay. Got Jordan following me. We're breaking open a new land. Still lots of work to be done after this. We still got a circle to finish applying cover crop to. We still got some sprinklers to start. We've got wheat to water still. There's still plenty to do. This tipping is getting outrageous. That right there, if my math is correct, should be the fourth, fourth to last, fourth to last. There's three loads left in 2024. Here it is, the pass we've been looking for all year and it's working out perfect. That's one load to finish it. We need about 57,000 for a full load. We got this, we can do this. Hey y'all, last pass of the entire year. We are so excited to be done. Oh my goodness. Done. Great year overall. Worked through some issues. I feel like honestly, we are on top of all those now. We were kind of talking back on it. The vast majority of our issues are avoidable for next year. 90% of our issues were caused by, I was running the radial spreaders in high gear, which was throwing the cobs really far and really hard at stuff. And it was breaking sensors and breaking uh, our radiator seals and stuff. And we cut, we're cutting really high this year, which was leaving our stocks really tall. And it was rubbing on all our harnesses. You take those two things away, which obviously that's avoidable next year. We had a really awesome year. Good job, Jordan. Don't know how you do it with the three jobs, four jobs, whatever you're up to right now. I have no idea. I don't know. I'm cooked, chat. <laughs>
<laughs> we just finished our... <laughs> I'm done so, with it. So I'm done. Anyways, oh! I'm going fast because we're trying to get a lot done right before dark. We have a motor we need to start, and I'm not very excited about it because it's pretty chilly outside right now. It is. And these motors are not... They don't like to start when it's cold. But we were just about ready to crank it over. I needed some coolant and I forgot that I took all my coolant out when we started harvest. So we're sprinting home now to grab coolant. Now you're gonna see us grabbing coolant. Now. Coolant. That's just horrific. This water smells like rotten eggs. Nice. Oh my God. Oh my God, it's way That's worse funny. than I thought. <laughs> we got fermented water. Good morning. Yet again, change of pace. We have had a great couple days. We have made a lot of progress figuring this thing out. Blake has been keeping this thing rolling. As you can see, Blake already got this one cover cropped. So it's all planted slash worked. And I am just starting on this one. It's actually Sunday. We really wanted to take today off. We love to try not to work on Sunday, but this year it just has not worked out that way. Blake's gonna come take over for me after church so we can keep this going. I've got a lot of servicing to do. To we were kind of fighting this thing for a while. Just, it wasn't being consistent. We couldn't keep it calibrated. We couldn't keep our rate right on the money. It was fluctuating. Well, come to find out, one of the lids on the top had a bad leak in it. He fixed that leak. Since then, good to go. Haven't had any issues. This is my first tank on our lower rate, which is what we want to run here. We ran out a full tank last night on a higher rate. Uh, we're doing 70 pounds of a wheat, triticale, rye mix. Okay, we, we've been really struggling to hold that. We've been holding between 45 and 60 pounds, which I think is still enough, especially being that we're working it in like this. But either way, we want that 70. This is some pretty nasty sand. I know it's hard to tell, but this field is really hilly really really knobby it's not that it's hilly it's knobby and those tops of those knobs are are just they get to blowing really easy so as you can see we've done those couple passes it's doing a great job we're working it just enough to mix some dirt in with the trash to hold that trash because while right now i just finished picking this field yesterday it looks great there's lots of trash nice and even but give it a month every one of these wheel tracks will be slick it'll be clean sand there won't be any cover on it and then the hilltops are even worse. So we're really thinking with this, we can mix in this residue now while it's nice and even across the whole field. We want this to stay. We want this residue on our ground. So our thought is we mix it in very lightly. We don't want to do heavy tillage here by any means. We want to leave it a little trashy on top, but we want that trash to have dirt mixed on it. That way it holds it and doesn't let it blow away. And then on top of that, we're spreading our cover crop seed on here to get a root structure back in the ground. That's our thought anyway. So we'll see how it works, but pretty excited about it. Um, we've really struggled with these fields the last few years. They just, it's really hard to get a stand because the, the wind gets blowing in the spring and it just, just sandblasts the corn off right at the ground. That's why I'm out here working sandy hilltops right after corn harvest because this is our thought so we're gonna see what happens i'm gonna focus in here enjoy the day and there you have it guys the end of corn harvest 2024 we do not have milo this year and i'm actually kind of relieved as pretty as milo is and as fun as it is to watch it get cut i am just totally relieved that we don't have to do it this year as always thank you guys so much for coming along we had so much fun filming and as you can see we had a blast filming with our new drone we love it thank you guys again for all the support down in the comments below any questions comments concerns leave them down below and while i do this voiceover over zach getting drenched by the sprinkler we just 
started. We will probably be explaining cover crops in the next vlog. It's not a super common thing that is done on this farm, so we're really excited to kind of show you why, when, where, and how we do it. And of course, the progress of all of it. Thank you guys for following. Thanks for subscribing. Make sure you're following my real and only accounts. Do not get scammed by scammers. I appreciate y'all so much, and I will see you guys in the next one. Okay, love you, bye.